Hello, I'm Sham, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to terminate HTTPS traffic on Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service workloads with AWS Certificate Manager. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Certificate Manager Console. This is my Certificate Manager Console, which lists all the certificates that are created or imported. I'll note down the ARN of the certificate that I need to use with the load balancer. Now, I'm opening my terminal. I have a kubectl tool configured with my existing Amazon EKS or Kubernetes cluster. I have a couple of nodes registered to my cluster. However, I don't have any pods running at this moment. Now, I'll create pods using deployment object. For this video, I'll create pods from latest Nginx image. This deployment object already has a few labels defined, such as tier, web server, and environment staging. After these are created, you can see the three pods running. Then I'll create a service with a load balancer that will forward the traffic to these three pods. The service is created with the selectors tier, web server, and environment staging. This lets the service directly receive traffic to the pods that have the same labels. This service has a type called load balancer that will create AWS public load balancer of the type network. Also, because of the annotations that are defined in the service, the load balancer will have a listener with port 443 and the certificate from the ACM store. Please note that I have a AWS load balancer controller installed in my Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service cluster. The first annotation specifies whether the NLB will be internet facing or internal. The second annotation specifies the availability zone the NLB will route traffic to. The third annotation specifies the ARN of the certificate to use. It can be either a certificate from a third party issuer or it can be one created within AWS Certificate Manager. The fourth annotation specifies the protocol that a pod speaks. For HTTPS and SSL, the load balancer expects the pod to authenticate itself over the encrypted connection. The other configuration to define is the port and target port. Be sure that the port is set as 443. This is where the load balancer is listening. And be sure that the target port is set to what container or application is listening. For this video, Let's consider target port to be 80 because we're using Nginx container. After this is created, you can see the load balancer DNS URL by using this command. Get the load balancer URL from the output. Now go to the load balancer console. On the listeners tab, you can see the load balancer port is set to 443 and the SSL certificate from the ACM that was defined in the YAML. Now, try accessing the load balancer URL on the browser on HTTPS protocol. So, using just these annotations, you can terminate the SSL traffic on the load balancer while using SSL certificate from ACM. Now you know how to terminate HTTPS traffic on EKS workloads with ACM. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.